Over the next couple of weeks, we'll be talking about different ways to remove tattoo. I'll also be looking at um, more scientific methods uh, and dwell right into the art of tattoo removal. But also, uh, I'll do a flip side of how to care for your tattoos rather than actually how to remove tattoos. So today's, um, I guess, video would be uh, the basis of tattoo removal, uh, how it feels like to have a tattoo removed from a patient. Um, just as a guideline, uh, the complexity of tattoo removal, I can't do it all in one segment because um, in this room we've got basically um, seven different laser and laser wavelengths to remove tattoos, so it's seven of them. Uh, and in order for me to talk you through each will take quite a fair few minutes. Today we'll be, we'll be only talking about one wavelength and that's a 755 using the PicoSure um, laser, uh, which is a picosecond laser. So I've done it a little bit differently because uh, this is like a retrospective review because last week um, at the Sinus Shore training convention, um, I performed some um, tutorials and gave some lectures from regards to tattoo removal. So um, this is from last week and we're crossing live now. Okay guys, look, we're gonna do a uh, Pico laser um, treatment as in tattoo removal. Uh, you can see the audience behind me. Uh, this is really off the cuff. Uh, we're using what's known as a Pico Sure, which is this, uh, which is a picosecond laser technology using a 755 millimeter uh, nanometer, sorry, um, wavelength, uh, and we're using that to remove tattoos. So uh, we'll, I'll walk you through this. Uh, patients will need multiple treatments. So who is the volunteer? Um, this guy actually wanted to be on another channel, but I said we've got to be on YouTube. Are you on XTube or YouTube? Either one of them. You can put me on YouTube. YouTube, fine, but not XTube. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Dude, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, is this your first treatment? No, it's my third or fourth. Okay, so have you had um, previous treatments before yes. or? Yeah, using the Pico or? Yeah, Pico. Pico, yeah, okay. So this is, how many treatments you've had? You said you've had? Three. Three. So guys, this is after three treatments. Um, this is what we should see with a nano after about six treatments. So basically, I think your time is cut in half with the Pico. Okay. Um, how do you tolerate it normally? Um, it's excruciating, but you just get through it. Is it worse than getting inked? Yeah. It is, yeah, yeah. I, th I thought so. But it's quicker, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So the only way I can explain it is when you fry an egg and the oil picks you, yep. that's what it feels like. Yeah. But it's very quick, isn't it? It's, it is it's over in a couple of minutes. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, so hang time. We'll see how it's done. So guys, check the audience here. This is the um, Sinusure convention, guys. It's kind of crazy. Uh, we've got Sandra here. Sandra and I go back a very long time, yeah. many, many years. She's a um, super great nurse, uh, taught me a lot, uh, but she'll be doing oh. the treatments, not me. You taught so, me a lot. <laughs> oh, well, we teach, other, we teach each other. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let me go so we're one. using the Pico. Ladies and gentlemen, it's great, great, great. It's a lot of presenting. Agreed, he's very, very brave, isn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Normally it hurts, uh, we get a lot of flinches, so hey guys, that's a perfect end point. Um, I like that frosting there, which is great. Uh, it's nice even frosting. How are you going, dude? Yeah, I'm good. You're good? Yep. It generally starts to really hurt after about half an hour. You can see how quick Sandra is. Uh, she's going through that tat. She's going uh, halfway through um, through that area, so she's very, very quick. She's great at what she does. She is, isn't she? So how long would you dwell on that? Depends on how quickly it turns across. Yep, yep. So basically, that, that's the end point. We're perfect end point we're looking at. You can see how much it's faded just with a few treatments. Um, and like I said, it's much quicker than the old nanosecond technology. So I'm resting on your leg, mate, sorry. Right. Hey, you've got tats over here as well. Are you getting those removed or you're I'm keeping them? Up, I'm getting all my tattoos removed. Really? Wow, okay. Not today. So, not today, that's a huge tat. Yeah, it's too long to do here. And also, it's a way. Okay. So that's the end point guys, so you can see, um, perfect end point. Cool. Okay, so this one's going to hurt more. Uh, we know that because when you get tattooed in that area, it hurts a lot, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Not as bad as the ribs, guys, so um, the ribs probably hurt the most. 
You, are you going to attach your ribs? None. <laughs> no. no I feel like too sick. Yeah. I did that. Yeah. Okay. This is yeah. How many treatments has he had on that one? He said three. Is it three? Yeah. 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 So you can see how much fading it's got from three, um, so it's doing really, really well. Do you think of any local? No, this guy's actually brave. He's got, um, he doesn't need local. Some patients do need local, but um, he's good. Okay, that's the end point. Same. Cool. You want boost? Yeah, hit boost. Two? Yeah. Jesus, you're turning it up. <laughs> <laughs> Pain's pain, mate. You can't get more than. <laughs> well, yeah. Just say so. Let like everyone next year. You're such a bad model, Brett. Look at that. <laughs> a bit more and points. End points a little bit more, yeah. With boost, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Okay, so that's the uh, end of it. That's the end point. That's great. I normally repeat this treatment. Um, well, how we, you normally do eight to twelve weeks? Yeah, eight, yeah, eight, eight to eight twelve. Eight. What, that's what I normally do as well. So, dude, you've done really well. Thank you. Everyone's watching you, so it's cool. <laughs> hey, um, how did you find that? Was it? It's you, you kind of. I mean, I guess you have to show a uh, strong face because you got heaps of people watching. But how'd you find it? Um, it's really easy. It's relatively quick. Yeah. It, you know, it's not as excruciatingly painful as some have been. But yep, yep. Yeah, it is good. Are you happy with the progress so far? I'm very happy with the progress. Yeah. Let's have a let's have a look again, have we? Shall we? So uh, this is just after. This is just after. This is after the fourth treatment. Um, look, yeah. seriously, guys, um, this kind of fading is what um, I would expect after maybe eight or nine using nanosecond, um, and that's the kind of fading we've got after uh, three three treatments from the Pico. So you know, at the end of the day, I think you're in good hands. Um, you still will need um, seriously. You still will need at least four or five. Yeah. Uh, we may not get the tattoo out all together. But um, I always say encourage cover-ups, but um, you know you still will need at least four to five. And no matter what um, anyone says, no matter what the company says, you still will need multiple treatments. Okay, dude? All right, so, cheers, mate. Hey, guys, um, that's it. So look, I'll go through the finer points of tattoo removal, including predictive fa factors, before and afters, and all that in my other video. But that's a really, really quick peek on um, Pico second technology uh, for tattoo removal. So, Heaps of people here, um, and uh, yeah, fun weekend. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of laser treatments after this, do some, de some demos. So hey guys, thanks very much for watching this video. Very short video and very candid video. So uh, catch you next week, bye. Hey, a big thank you to all my subscribers um, over the past 10 months. This channel has really, really grown. I really appreciate that. So hey, um, to help me out, uh, if you can uh, click to subscribe, I would love to produce more videos over the upcoming months and years um, to show you what's new in uh, laser and aesthetic dermatology. I also recently discovered Instagram, so I've been on that for the last six weeks and it's going really good. So I try to put a video or two up every week as well as a few pics every day. Thanks for once again guys and um, I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.